<laughs> this is the room where John Evans would have been born, which uh, is now property of Jack, who's five years old. Because the rest of the house was an open crop loft, and um, this is where the couples uh, were in here, and they had the babies in here. He lived in this house with his father and brother, devout Methodists, not a, a rich person who's from a very simple hill farming family. When he was in his early 20s, he got under the influence of this crazy guy who's called Yola Morgano, he was an opium addict, a bit of a dreamer. Uh, he was a really talented poet, kind of Welsh revolutionary, an extremely influential guy. And he firmly believed in the Mad Dog myth, the myth in the movie. And he persuaded the young John Evans, why don't you borrow some money, go out to America and find the tribe who are descended from Mad Dog. So before starting out on this investigative concert tour of the American interior, I consulted some experts in Wales. And I stopped off here at the National Library in a town called Aperystwyth. Man of the third of the John Evans, with the animal of both Timor at the Old Morganog. Ian Lather and Enig on my mum, Clow Scriven, Vestless Yam David Weir, the Arriva, Yan, T, Abivan, Araguilot. So John Evans was actually born Yeyan Abivan, but at the time the Church of England forced the Welsh to adopt English names, so they registered him John Evans, which was the first of his many David Bowie-style transformations. 